All right, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for RC Hubbard's Engineering Mechanics Statics textbook. So we have this problem from chapter four here, which is asking us to determine the moment of the force about point O here. So looking at this problem, what we can, what we could do is we could solve for this length here, right, and uh, this length here, and we could then use that combined with the um, horizontal and vertical components of this 600 pound force and we could solve for the moments about point O that way and that's actually something that I did in my preparation for this video but it turns out there's actually a simpler way of looking at this so we could take our diagram that we've got on the uh, center of our page here and what we could do is we are perfectly within our rights to rotate it here uh, so that the the beam is flat right um that then allows us first of all to get rid of this 30 30 degree angle here and also we note that this uh, 20 uh, degree angle from earlier is is no longer acting against the the horizontal so we can remove that and since we've rotated our whole structure by 30 degrees that 20 degree force effectively turns into a 50 degree force right a 50 degree force, a 50 degree angle here, right? So let's just add that to our diagram. Okay, so evidently this is uh, a far easier basis to solve our problem now. Let's go ahead and do that. So point O is in the corner here. We have this 600 pound force. Let's decompose it. So we note that we'll have a 600 cos 50 horizontal component here and a 600 sine 50 vertical component here. Okay, so this force is acting five feet away from point O here. And we note that the horizontal component, the 600 cos 50 uh, component here is going to enact a anti-clockwise moment about point O and that the 600 sine 50 uh, vertical component here is also going to enact a anti-clockwise moment right here. So we know that this moment is going to end up being anti-clockwise. Let's go ahead and solve for it then. So we can say that the sum of uh, moments acting about point O acting, let's say anti-clockwise here, is equal to, now we're going to have this 650, uh, 600 cos 50 horizontal component here acting at a perpendicular distance of 0.5. So we've got 0.5 times 600 cos 50 for the horizontal component there. And then for the vertical component, uh, that's acting a perp perpendicular distance of five feet away from 0.0. So we can say that moment will be five times 600 sine 50 sine 50 there. And when we bung this into our calculator, this gives us a value of 2,491 pound feet, or if we want to express this even more simply, we could say it's 2.49 kip feet. Again, don't ask me why kilo pound foot is, is kip foot, it just is. Uh, okay, so that is the solution to our problem there. If you have any questions or comments about it, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.